Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm glad you joined me today. We will discuss nonverbal communication and its types in this video. Nonverbal means without words. Nonverbal communication encompasses a wide range of cues and signals that convey messages without using words. Giving thumbs up on social media or to a person is a trend today. However, if you give thumbs up in country like Iran means indecent and offensive insult, which means sit on it. This is similar to raise your middle finger up. Now, do you know why guys in anime raise a pinky finger when talking about girls? What this gesture mean? The word koibido in Japanese literally translates to love person in English. When Japanese lightly refer to a boyfriend or girlfriend, they often stick out their pinky finger and point to it. So in Japan, this gesture indicates a lover or significant other. But showing pinky finger is bad and rude in countries like India and China. Note that any gesture appropriate in specific region could be inappropriate in other. Now let's understand how companies talk with their customers using non-verbal communication. The Starbucks logo is a classic example of non-verbal communication and branding. Here's how the Starbucks logo communicates without using words. Image. The Starbucks logo consists of a green, twin-tailed mermaid or siren encircled in a green ring with the word Starbucks coffee in a stylized font. The non-verbal elements of the logo include color. The use of a distinctive green color is associated with growth, freshness, and the natural world. It conveys the idea of high-quality, fresh coffee. Next, we have mermaid or siren. The image of the mermaid or siren represents allure and a sense of adventure, aligning with the idea of exploring various coffee flavors. Crown. The crown on the mermaid's head symbolizes authority and luxury, suggesting that Starbucks offers premium coffee. Next in the row is circled design. The circular shape of the logo conveys a sense of completeness and unity, suggesting the idea of community and coming together over coffee. Through these non-verbal elements, the Starbucks logo effectively communicates its brand values of providing high-quality, inviting, and community-oriented coffee experiences without the need for words. It has become an iconic symbol recognized worldwide, showcasing the power of nonverbal communication and branding. Now let's understand types of nonverbal communication with a simple examples. Imagine you're at a friend's party and you're trying to figure out if someone is interested in you. You're not Sherlock Holmes, but you're about to decode their nonverbal cues like a detective. Facial expressions. As you chat, you notice their smile is genuine and reaches their eyes, indicating they're happy to talk to you. Gestures. They use open and welcoming hand gestures, like palms up, showing they're friendly and approachable. Eye contact. They maintain consistent eye contact, signaling they're engaged and genuinely interested in the conversation. Touch. During the conversation, they lightly touch your arm or shoulder, a sign of physical connection and interest. Tone of voice. Their tone is warm and enthusiastic, conveying their enjoyment of the conversation. Proxemics. They choose to stand or sit beside you rather than across, suggesting a desire for a closer connection, indicating they like your presence. Paralanguage. They speak at a moderate pace, neither too fast nor too slow, making it easy to follow the conversation. Appearance and dress. They've dressed well for the occasion, indicating they put thought into their appearance and want to make a good impression. Artifacts. You notice they wear a necklace with a pendant shaped like a heart, possibly hinting at their romantic interests. Silence. There are comfortable pauses in the conversation, allowing both of you to absorb what's being said without any rush. Smell. They smell pleasant, perhaps due to a subtle but inviting perfume or cologne. In this example, you've effectively deciphered their nonverbal communication cues, which collectively indicate their interest and attraction. Nonverbal communication plays a significant role in understanding people's intentions and feelings, often speaking louder than words in social situations. Now let's dive into a world of different types of nonverbal communication, along with examples for each in detail. Kinesics. It is the study of the body language of a person, that is, gestures, postures, 
facial expressions, etc. First, facial expressions. Definition. Facial expressions convey emotions, attitudes, and reactions through muscle movements in the face. Example. Smiling indicates happiness, while raised eyebrows might signal surprise or curiosity. Second gestures. Definition. Gestures involve hand movements, body postures, or facial expressions to convey meaning. Example. Waving hello or giving a thumbs up gesture for approval. Third body language. Definition. Body language encompasses nonverbal cues expressed through physical movements, gestures, facial expressions, and postures to convey messages, emotions, thoughts, or attitudes without using words. Example. Mirroring technique. Subconsciously imitating another person's body language to establish rapport. As people like those who are similar or equal to them. Fourth eye contact. Definition. The use of eye contact in communication to convey interest, attention, or emotions. Example. Maintaining eye contact during a conversation demonstrates engagement and respect. Fifth appearance and dress. Definition. How individuals present themselves through clothing and grooming. Example. Wearing a suit and tie communicates professionalism, while casual attire suggests informality. Next, we have touch. Definition. Physical contact, such as handshakes, hugs, or pats, to express emotions or establish rapport. Example. A warm hug signifies affection, while a firm handshake can indicate professionalism. Now let's talk about the power of touch. 1997. A study found that strangers that were touched were more likely to return change left in a phone booth. 1992. A study found that food servers who use touch received larger tips. Then we have proxemics. Definition. The use of space and communication to convey social and interpersonal relationships. Example. Sitting across from someone can denote formality, while sitting beside them can indicate familiarity. Next is vocalics or paralanguage. Definition. Vocal characteristics like speaking rate, volume, and pauses that complement spoken words. Example. Fast speech may convey excitement, while long pauses can suggest uncertainty. Another type is artifacts. Definition. Objects and symbols individuals carry or display to express identity or affiliations. In simple words, the appearance of a person speaks about his personality, that is by way of clothing, carrying jewelry, lifestyle, etc. This kind of communication is known as artifactual communication. Example. Wearing a religious symbol like a cross necklace signifies faith. Next is silence. Definition. The absence of speech, which can carry meaning or create space for thought. Example. A moment of silence during a memorial service shows respect and reflection. Another type in the row is smell. Definition. Scents and odors that can evoke emotions and associations. Example. The smell of freshly baked bread in a bakery creates a welcoming atmosphere. Last but not the least, we have chronemics or time. Chronemics is a discipline concerned with the study of a person's use of time. Chronemics can help us understand how people perceive and structure time in their conversations and interpersonal relationships. Communication, by its very definition as a process, indicates that it is a time-bound activity. Time serves as a basic organizing concept for social interaction in a variety of ways. The structure of time itself may communicate messages about proximity and immediacy. To conclude, Proxemics, which deals with the use of space in communication. Space is divided into four categories, intimate, personal, social, and public. There are many factors that define the use of space. Age, gender, cultural and ethical backgrounds, personality, physical characteristics, attitudes, emotions of people, interpersonal dynamics. Oculesics, which is concerned with eye contact and behavior. Haptics involves the use of touch. Vocalic is concerned with the tonal quality of the voice. Kinesics, which has to do with body movements. These notes and examples illustrate how various forms of nonverbal communication 
are crucial in conveying messages, emotions, and intentions in both personal and professional interactions. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It will boost my motivation. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Do share this video with your friends. Let's meet again in related videos.